Hi, I'm Keith Hofer. And I'm Dave Gillespie. And welcome to You it's Say Tomato. Tomato. It's Tomato Day. Tomato, Keith. Tomato. 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 Oh. It's the show that lifts the lid on the very best of US and UK cuisine. It's the food we love to eat on both sides of the Atlantic. And You Say Tomato, we'll be exploring what separates our two countries ah. when it comes to the kitchen. And what brings us together, what we've got in common. Today, we're going to be cooking here at Hop Jacks, but we need to go get some ingredients first. What do you say? Let's cook the whole thing off. You say potato, we say potato. You say tomato, we say tomato. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Let's go the whole thing cook today? Well, I'm going to cook a shepherd's pie. Traditional, classic British fare. What about you? I don't know. I think I'm going to have to have a chat with Joe. Figure something out. I've got a bad feeling about this. Zucchini. Courgette. Zucchini. Courgette. Zucchini. Courgette. Zucchini. Courgette. Squash. Adidas. 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 Adios. All right, Dave, tell us about Shepherd's Pie. This is the ultimate in comfort food, tomato. And uh, we've got here, of course, the secret ingredient, Leah Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. Okay, do you know the story behind this? Nope. I know the story, but Bernard tells it so well. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. All right, Bernard. So interesting. Lay it on him. Worcester sauce was created in Worcester, England in the 1800s. It is said that the recipe was brought back from India. When the recipe was first mixed at the pharmacy of John Lee and William Perrins, it was so revolting the barrel was abandoned in the basement. A few years later, looking to make space in the basement, the two chemists tasted it again and discovered that the sauce had fermented and mellowed. The first bottles of Lee and Perrins Worcestershire sauce went on sale in 1838. It because this has a little cream, a little butter in it. Mm. It should cook down a little bit, spread out, and Beautiful. Uh, make it nice and tasty. Yeah. And so you all then, obviously, you're going to put the cheese on the top. I think the cheese is glue. It sticks everything together. Make yeah. sure that when you pick that pizza up, it doesn't all come sliding off and grouping off. This could be a winner. We're not quite done. We're going to go back to your veal stock and give it a little bit of moisture. Oh not, man, look not, at that. Not nothing terrible because you don't want to over moisten the, the pizza. Oh, I think this is inspired. Oh, I'd it's say a, it's definitely it's inspired. A, it's a touch of Joe genius going on here. So we're going to. I think it has enough cheese, Joe. I like this, the way this oh, guy makes. Here we look at that. Yeah. So we'll do it. Oh little. man. It's getting quite high now. Oh yeah. Like I said, this, is, this, this bread is just to keep all of the goodness. It's pie with the lovely mint sauce to go with it that I cook, and we've got <laughs> this creation, which is the shepherd's pizza pie. Cheers. Mm. 